here's how the system works and I really love its simplicity and straightforward approach. We've got a transmitter and a receiver. Period. Nothing else on the way. I love the fact that who is who is clearly written on the units, in both of the units, so you can go wrong. The overall ergonomics and adaptability put into the design uh, is great, and the fact that the jack socket is uh, movable is a great way to assure that the unit will adapt perfectly to your instrument. As a matter of testing, I've mounted the X5 on some of my bases, as you can hear, without uh, any problem of fitting at all. The back of the units have this uh, nice rubber protection and uh, in order to protect the finish of uh, our instruments. This gives you the total flexibility and possibility to really follow the ergonomy and the natural design of your instrument. And this gives actually a pretty nice margin of adaptability. The operation and control of the U2 are pretty simple. We get an on and off button, and a, a channel button, and two LEDs. Uh, for having a visual feedback from the unit. Now, the U2 allows us to have four different channels within its 2.4 GHz band of transmission. And it's great because we can connect to four different U2 systems on the stage. And how do I know what channel am I selecting in the unit? Well, it's simple. If the LED blinks twice, it means that we are in channel 2. If the light repeats three times, it means that we are in the number 3, and this principle ally also to channel 1 and 4, of course. Nice solution, I think. Now let's discuss about battery life and the charging experience. Obviously, as a wireless device, the two units need electric charge. And we've got a mini USB socket that allow us to have up to four hours of performance, which is a great sweet spot in my opinion. Another great thing is that X5 included in every box this Y cable, and this means you can charge both devices at the same time, and this all from a single USB port. Now, about the charge ratio, you basically have to double up the time uh, of charge to have an approximate idea of the time you can play with it. For example, 20 minutes of charge will give you around 40 minutes of performance, one hour of charge will give you two hours of performance, and so goes on. 